Now, if you don't have sriracha, you could put a little bit of ketchup just to give it that color, not because you need to. You don't even have to put sriracha if you don't want to. You can just leave it with the orange and it's just going to give it such a nice flavor. But the sriracha adds a nice color to it and it adds a nice little kick on top of the chili. So this is a little spicy sauce. So you don't want to maybe serve this to the kids, but the adults, I'll tell you, will simply love this. Mm. my god this goes great with tofu let me tell you if you make a nice crispy tofu this is just super delicious on this you can put this on anything i made beautiful veggie balls and i use this sauce to serve it with and let me tell you when they were eating those veggie balls and those veggie balls had no asian flavor whatsoever in them but when they were eating that veggie ball let me tell you dipped in the sauce they went crazy so there you go, nice and thick. It got nice and thick on me. And that's when you know your sauce is ready. How simple was that guys? Look at that. Look at this beautiful, beautiful orange chili Thai sauce. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. You want it thicker? Cook it down more. If you find it's too thick for you, before it cools off, add a little bit of orange juice, mix it in, and it's going to be just perfect. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful sauce for whatever dish you create. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, we're back. So we're gonna make a tempura batter. And I have, <clears throat> let me show you. Okay, so we're back guys. Uh, here's my cauliflower. Now you can leave them big or you can just go ahead and cut them just in half like this. And make them into smaller pieces. Here we go, we're gonna put them there. I mean, they're nice too when they're super big. If you're doing maybe as an appetizer, you can make them bigger so this way there's more of a presentation when you use just one of the heads rather than using smaller ones. But we're going to cut these in half. I've got some that are super big like this one. Look at this one. Well, we're going to cut that in half also. Okay, so there we go. These are our pieces. I'm going to put this aside. And now we're going to make our batter. And we're going to make a tempura type batter. And we're going to use, I'd say about half a cup, I'd say about half a cup of flour. And where's my starch? Sorry, baby. Did mommy hurt you? I stepped on my dog's tail. I feel so bad. I think it was his tail. I stepped on something. Poor, poor thing. And I would say that's about another half a cup of about half a cup of starch. I'm using tapioca, of course. And if I need to, I will make more. I'm just showing you a small batch, but if you want, you could always double your batch. So we're gonna put about a teaspoon of magic. Oop. I'd say about a teaspoon of magic powder. And we're gonna put some salt to this. Yeah, about a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to mix this up and then we're going to add about half a cup of water and then if we need to add more water we will we'll just dilute it a bit but just to see how it turns out first give this a good mix maybe i should have doubled it eh? there we go we're going to put the half cup of water mix it up you know i'd never measure precise so we're going to need way more water and here's a little extra. And here's a little more water. So we've got about half, a cup of water. There we go. So 
half a cup of flour, half a cup of tapioca, uh, not tapioca, yes, tapioca starch, salt. Now we're going to just sprinkle a little extra flour to this. We don't want it too watery. Just a little, and if we have to, we will, we will add more. There we go. And we're going to take our cauliflower and basically drench it up. I'd rather have a watery first. This way it goes right into the flour. And then we will add some extra flour right on top of it as we mix it. Let me just change spoon. There we go. Okay, and then if we need to, we'll just make more. We're going to put a few more in there. Give it a good toss, and then we're going to add some flour. So I'm just showing you a small batch, but again, you can double this. If I was making this over the holidays, trust me, that would be a big batch that I would be making. Okay, so we're going to add extra flour right on top, and it's going to make that nice and thick. this is going to be good for this batch and then I'll fry these up there we go beautiful okay so I'm just gonna let it sit a bit and as soon as the oil gets ready I'm gonna deep fry these guys and then I'm gonna show you how I plate this dish my, <laughs> my dog will not eat the butt of the cauliflower he just wants the cauliflower Okay, so there we go. These are nice and crunchy, guys. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're going to start off with a nest of fried, fried spinach. Baby spinach, some fried mushroom with seaweed, pan fried, of course. There we go. We've got some beautiful cauliflower. One more. There we go. And then we're gonna put our delicious sauce on top. And there we go, sweetie. There you go. Easy, easy peasy, delicious. Okay, so there you go. Isn't that beautiful? A little bit of that chili sauce we made earlier. It took two minutes to fry up this cauliflower with that beautiful tempura that we made. A little bit of fried mushrooms with some seaweed. And there you go. This is a meal. So I hope you like this recipe, guys. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you try it, come back. Let me know how you like it and share it with your friends. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.